It is Friday, August 21st, 2020, and it's 9.57 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I know that, well, of course, I've said before that I'm no Bible scholar, but I know that it says in, that in the end days that time will be sped up for the elect's sake because the elect wouldn't be able to take it. And the fact that it is August 21st, 2020 is proof in the pudding that time is speeding up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, anyway, everybody, hang in there. I'm going to hang in there. I'm going to keep on crying, and I'm going to keep on laughing, and I'm going to keep on swimming laps when I can to try to get my body into shape. Where whenever I get my un my uncorruptible body, that it won't be too dramatic of a change for me. But I wish you could see me right now. I'm very sunburned. I mean, very sunburned. I didn't realize how sunburned I was getting. But of course, when you stay when you stay in 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 prison, when you stay locked up inside for seven years, and then you go out and you suddenly start getting sun, well then uh, the sun burns you. So, I shouldn't be too shocked by that. Okay. Um, but I'm still going to swim regardless. Um, 2 Samuel chapter 20. Hallelujah. And there came to be there a man of Be Be Belial. See, I don't know how to say that word. Belial. Whose name was Sheba, the son of Bichri. A Benjamite, and he blew a trumpet and said, We have no part in David, neither have we inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to his tent, O Israel. So every man of Israel went up from, from after David and followed Sheba, the son of Bichri. The men of Judah clave unto their king from Jordan even to Jerusalem. And David came to his house at Jerusalem, and the king took the ten women, his concubines, whom he had left to keep the house. And put them in ward and fed them, but not in not but went not in unto them, so they were shut up unto the day of their death, living in widowhood. How sad! It's kind of like me. Shut up until the day of my death, living in widowhood. With that, you know, like zero worldly joy here going on. I do get joy out of swimming. But let me tell you something. I don't get there. I it's like I'm shut up in widowhood. But that's fine. I'm doing it for the Lord. Then said the king to Amasa, "Assemble me the men of Judah within three days, and be thou here present." So Amasa went to assemble the men of Judah, but he tarried longer than the set time that which he had been which had been appointed him. And see, when Jesus when Jesus returns. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He isn't coming back as the lion of Israel. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Y'all need to think about that. Think about what's going on in the world with Israel and the whole thing. I'm not saying... I'm not saying anything bad about Jewish people or anything like that. What I'm saying is there were 12 tribes. Okay? Jesus is coming back as the lion of the tribe of Judah. So Amasa went to assemble the men of Judah. But he tarried longer than the set time which he had appointed him. And David said to Abashi... Now shall Sheba, the son of Bichri, uh, do us more harm than did Absalom. Take thou thy Lord's servants and pursue after him, lest he get him fenced cities and escape us. And there went out after him jo Joab's men and the Cherethites and the Pelethites and all the mighty men. And they went out of Jerusalem to pursue after Sheba, the son of Bichri. When... They were at the great stone, which is in Gibeon. Amasa went before them, and Joab's garment that he 
had put on was girded unto him, and upon it a girdle with a sword fastened upon his loins, and the sheath thereof, as he went forth, it fell out. And Joab said to, Ma to Amasa, Art thou in health, my brother? And Joab took Amasa by the beard with the right hand to kiss him. But Amasa took no heed to the sword that was in Joab's hand. So he smote him therewith in the fifth rib and shed out his bowels to the ground. Good Lord Almighty. And struck him not again and he died. So Joab and Abashi, his brother, pursued after Sheba, the son of Bichri. And one of Joab's men stood by him and said, He that favoreth Joab, and he that is, that is for David, let him go after Joab. And Amasa wallowed in, in, the bl in blood in the midst of the highway. And when the man saw that all the people stood, stood still and removed Amasa out of the highway into the field and cast a cloth upon him, when he saw that everyone that came by him stood still, Wow, when he was removed out of the highway, all the people went out after Joab to pursue after Sheba, the son of Bichri. And when, and he went through all the tribes of Israel unto Abel and to Beth, Beth Maaka, Maaka, and all the Berites, and they were gathered together and went also after him. And they came and besieged him in Abel of Beth Meaka, and they cast up a bank against the city, and it stood in the trench, and all the people that were with Joab battered the wall and throw it down. Then cried a wise woman out of the city, Hear, hear, say, I pray, I pray you unto Joab, come, come near hither, that I may speak with thee. And when he was come near unto her, the woman said, Art thou Joab? And answered, and he answered, I am he. Then, then she said unto him, Hear the words of thine handmaid. And he answered, I do hear. Then she spake, saying, They were wont to speak in old times, saying, They shall surely ask counsel at Abel. And so they ended the matter. I am one of them that are peaceable and faithful to, in Israel. Thou seekest to destroy a city and a mother in Israel. Why wilt thou swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? And Joab answered and said, Far be it, far be it for me that I should swallow up or destroy. The matter is not so, but a man of Mount Ephraim, Sheba, the son of Bichri by name, hath lifted up his hand against the king, even against David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. And the woman said unto Joab, Behold, his head shall be thrown to thee over the wall. <laughs> wow. Then the woman went unto the, all the people in her wisdom, and they cut off the head of Sheba, the son of Bichri, and cast it out to Joab. And he blew a trumpet, and they retired from the city, every man to his tent, and Joab returned to Jerusalem unto the king. Now Joab was all what was uh, Joab was over all the host of Israel, and ben, ben, Beniah, the son of Jehoiada was over the Cherethites and over the Pelethites. And Adoram was over the, tri over the tribute, and Jehoshaphat, the son of ah Ahilud, was recorder. And Shiva was a scribe, and Zadok and Abiathar were the priests. And Ira also, the Jerite, was a chief ruler about David. Holy, 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 holy.